What's happening, guys? It's your boy, Russell Hance. So, uh, Survivor has come up with a promote, uh, promotion to the upcoming season of 41, and I wanted to do a real quick video on what I think about uh, how the video works, and I think it's a lot better than the first one they did. Uh, if you didn't see the first one, then you're not missing anything. It was crazy. I could have did it on my iPhone. But uh, I'm glad they come up with this. I'm, it looks good. I'm not just saying that because I'm in it. A few survivors are in it. But I want to go ahead and play it for you guys and talk about a few things that Jeff says. Because sometimes he says some things that's like, hmm, what did he just say? So this is it, guys. Check this out. For 21 years, Survivor has continued to evolve by pushing the envelope and testing the players. In over 40 seasons, the game has become much more complex. From the introduction of hidden immunity idols. What? There's a little immunity idol about this big in a jungle that's this big. To secret advantages. This is an idol nullifier. I see a rolled up piece of paper that says secret advantage. This is a huge win for me. And game changing twists. Come on in. Oh. Wait, what? Your past has come back to haunt you. Are oh you serious? <laughs> Been back and forth, one of oh. the best fire making wow. challenges we have ever Yay! had. But one thing has remained the same. Players must learn to adapt or they'll be voted out. Ozzy, tribe has spoken. There's a history on Survivor. Every twist we've ever done, people have hated in the beginning. Going back to season three, when we did the first tribe swap. You guys can give me your buffs. Silas, Teresa, Frank, you guys are now members of Baran. Oh my god. Now if tribes don't get a switch, they're upset. It was the same with the idol, it's the same with everything. I ain't finished playing just yet. Eighth person voted out of Survivor Samoa and the second member of our jury, Kelly. Survivor 41 is birthing a new era, starting with a much more dangerous 26-day game. So that means it is a very fast pace. It does force the players to make bigger decisions. So there will be new advantages. And there will be some controversial twists. We're going to be doing things and let the audience in on things in ways we never have before. Bring them inside the game a little more and pose the question, now you have this information before the players do, what do you think you would do? There's also something I'm really excited about. It's called the game within the game. The game within the game is an interactive experience for junior future survivor players where they'll have to spot and solve Rebus puzzles hidden within each episode. When it comes to twists on Survivor, the smart, aggressive players take it, adapt, and move on. Because the game is kind of like the monster in a horror movie. When it's chasing you in the kitchen, you don't stop and ask where it came from or how it got its powers. You just try to outwit it, outplay, outlast it. Because otherwise, if you don't kill the monster, the monster will kill you. So I'm trying to remind players, just keep moving and beat the game. It is fast, you gotta earn everything, and even then, there's no guarantees that you'll keep it. That's Survivor right now, so buckle up. All right, now I don't know if that got you super excited, like some of them, it's pretty, I like it, I enjoyed it. Uh, I wouldn't say I, did, I got goosebumps watching it, I thought it was pretty good. It shows a lot of the uh, old players that we, we see that's done amazing things in the game of Survivor. So I like that part of it. Um, I like that Jeff's sitting there with his uh, his C-19 hair. You know, it's all uh, bushed up. He's staying true to that haircut and not, uh, you know, not going to the barber, which is fine. I uh, love it, love the look, Jeff. But uh, there's a few things he said in that that uh, I want to talk about. Uh, and the first thing I want to talk about how he talks about uh, that people used to hate the twist or every time they hate the twist. Uh, the reason he's saying that is because of the 26 days. Now, I'm not sure if it's, I doubt it's my videos because I've done some videos. You can watch them below on the 26 days, how I'm upset about it. But he says that the 26 days is harder uh, than the 39 days. It's harder, it's tougher, it's more of a fast pace. Uh, 
I mean, if you had to go stay at your mother-in-law's house for two weeks or 30 days, which one is harder? <laughs> Just saying. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> it's, it, I, I see what he's trying to say that it's mentally harder because you got to work faster. But I played the game. I'm playing fast the entire time. The 39 days, I am guarantee you I'm playing just as fast as the 26 days. I hope it doesn't stay like that. Uh, I don't want to see a 26-day survivor. I know you guys don't either. Uh, I hope that it's just due to the pandemic, which it probably is. That's probably the case, which it's okay. If that's the case, I'm good with it. But uh, let's not keep that trend going because we want the real uh, 39 days, one survivor. That's what we want. So I'll move on from that because I've talked about that for quite a while. In my opinion, I don't think it's harder. I don't care about this monster in the room that you guys are talking about, talking to Jeff. Uh, they, all of, they say a lot of monster stuff. So we got monsters in your kitchen. We got monsters in the room. We got monsters here and there, monsters everywhere. Um, so I just don't like... <laughs> I, I don't know what that means, but maybe it means something. Maybe he talks about monsters in the game or he implements it as that, as the game goes along. So the last thing I wanted to talk about is he talks about the game within the game. A game within the game for junior future survivor players. Now, let's think of, think of that a little, a little closer junior future survivors now is he talking about survivors that never played and then they're juniors and then they they play and they become varsity or is he talking about juniors like children because he talked about that i did a video on that too you could check that out somewhere about teenagers playing the game junior survive future survivors now wording it like that is weird to me junior future Comment below and tell me how you think he means it. I think he's talking about kids. I don't think he's talking about people that haven't played the game again. That's just my opinion. The game within the game. Which means they're going to have clues as you watch the game for junior future survivors. Maybe to, when you do play, you better pay very close attention to what you're watching. Watch it four or five times because... If you're about to go play out there and play, maybe it's some kind of clue when you get there, which is crazy. That's never been done in the history of television. So I don't really know what he means by that. If you know, comment below. Let me know because I'm confused on that. I'm just giving my opinion. But that's all I'm going to talk about. I just wanted you guys to see the, the video to make sure you're aware it's coming, uh, get you excited. I don't know if I'm going to get in trouble for using their video, but I'm using it anyway. I apologize, CBS. I'm just trying to get the word out there. I'm excited. This is about to start, and I'm ready to go. Ready to do my podcast, my player's performance. I'm doing all that. That's all starting again. So uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Hit the like bu button and uh, the notification bell so you can be notified when I do drop those videos. And uh, that's all I got for you today. And as always, keep hope alive and keep your hair fluffy. Jeff.